Welcome back to the South Island of New Zealand. We have just flown out of Milford Sound over there. And today's tutorial will cover descent, approach, landing, after landing checklist and engine shutdown. And uh, let's get into the cockpit now. We are currently flying towards Martins Bay Aerodrome over here and I'll read out the checklist from Milvis's uh, the descent procedure from Milvis's manual in a moment. The descent procedure is fairly simple. Just reduce the throttle and also switch to the fullest fuel tank because when you're normally cruising uh, you should be you should have selected the rear tank. The rear tank should be emptied first during the cruise part of the flight during the cruise phase. After that once you start your descent and uh, then you should start uh, using the fullest tank available all right now the checklist is as follows reduce airspeed and power as required fuel selector to fullest tank instrument in correct ranges so uh, right currently I have the autopilot connected I'll just disconnect the autopilot and reduce power um, that covers the descent now for the approach procedure reduce airspeed to 90 miles per hour indicated airspeed propeller lever to increase RPM mixture lever to full ridge flaps to landing or as desired maintain a normal approach airspeed of 80, not 80 miles per hour rate of descent will be approximately 1000 feet per minute and right so we'll do that in a moment right now we're not on approach but you can see the runway over there that's a dirt strip runway all right so I'm circling here to reduce the altitude and uh, one thing to note about uh, the approach uh, open throttle several times during approach to clear the engine and to prevent too rapid engine cooling also if you're using the carburetor heat then very late on the final select cold for the final approach this is to ensure that full power will be available in case of a balked landing now we're supposed to do a three point landing so just before touchdown I pull the yoke slightly back gently back and use the trim and also increase the throttle slightly to decrease the rate of descent. Uh, we all let's just come on to the final. Landing lights can come on. And let's just reduce the throttle. So normally you will approach at 90 miles per hour and then uh, reduce to 80 miles per hour with the f when the flaps are set to landing but if you want a minimum run takeoff or, or a short sorry a minimum run landing or a short landing you should use a full flap setting and an approach speed of 60 miles per hour or a maximum of 65 miles per hour all the way to touchdown so let's just complete the circle and we 
can go down now. So, for approach, the checklist says propeller lever full RPM. Make sure full reach. Sorry, propeller lever increase RPM. Oops, oops. Use the trim, use the trim, use the trim. Flaps. Landing. 90 miles per hour. Reduce the throttle. Flaps reduce the throttle, reduce the throttle. It's very jerky, I don't know why. Normally it's very smooth. fully back and slightly tap on the wheel brakes slightly tap and that's the landing now for the after landing checklist flaps to cruise all the way There we go, and trim, elevator trim to neutral. Oh, that's why I had the nose down. So elevator trim, neutral. There we go, to zero. So that was the landing and the after landing checklist. Now I'll, I have to go to the end of the runway because I've tried it once before to backtrack here and I ended up crashing so I'll backtrack and then do the engine shutdown okay so instead of backtracking it's going to take too long and I want to uh, finish this uh, tutorial now for the engine uh, stopping the engine so allow the engine to idle for a short period to assist in gradually cooling down open throttle to give 1000 to 1200 rpm sorry about the beeping sound that was my UPS and uh, propeller lever to full decrease rpm the rpm will drop off uh, as, the as the propeller changes pitch but should be maintained at 800 rpm with the throttle and fin uh, finally mixture lever to idle cutoff switch the ignition off after the propeller has stopped returning main fuel tank selector off all fuel switches off and that brings me to the fuel tank selector I did not select the fullest tank it's still in the rear oh it is selected I did select it okay good fine so right let's just shut down the engine and first of all parking brake on that's off parking brake on throttle to give 1000 to 1200 rpm and now decrease rpm 
propeller pitch increase the throttle slightly and now make sure to idle cutoff the propeller has stopped moving so the ignition which is over here can go to off right left right and off fuel tank selector off and all switches to off and battery alternator off battery off and that takes care of our stopping the engine checklist and shutting down the aircraft and we can reduce yes close the throttle fine so if you've made it this far into the video thank you for watching and do leave a like if you liked the video if you found it helpful and if you want to leave any comments in the comment section please do so i have uh, made previously made tutorials on the beaver for starting the engine ground tests and taking off and cruising so if you would like to watch them i'll add them into in the video description thank you for watching take care bye bye